Praise the Lord. Welcome to Holy Spirit Prayer House TV Network. And today we are talking about winning life battles. How do I win battles in this life? We have heard the saying before that life is a battle. Every day you wake up, somebody somewhere, demons, powers of hell, just don't want you to wake up. They want you to sleep and die. Then when you go out, they wish that the car has an accident. When you are eating, demons just wish that you eat it and you choke up. When you are dressing, they wish the death does not fit you or they get torn. Every bad thing, every negative thing, thought. The devil just wants something bad to happen to you. Why? He doesn't want you to have joy. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy. Everything negative to joy is the devil. The fullness of joy. Before it becomes full, you need to be putting joy upon joy upon joy for it to be full. So God wants you to continue, continually see joy, 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 joy till it gets full. But the devil wants to be taken out of the joy, reduce the joy, until he gets angry, until things don't go well. But unfortunately, in the world of today, due to the teachings about relativeness, we've now started talking that some things doesn't have to do with God. You see, it has nothing to do with God. When the foil gets as a problem, it has nothing to do with God. When my car breaks down, it has nothing to do with God. When I can't see food to it, it's just the economy. It has nothing to do with God. When my wife is misbehaving, when my children are sick, it's just the weather. When I am tired, I'm having serious headaches, it's just the stress. When my office is laying everybody off, it's just the economy. The devil has found a way to make us not look at him, but to look at other things. Not forgetting. We need to understand that in the world there are just two sides. The side of God and the side of the devil. That is all. There is no in between. If I don't have joy, it's because the devil is working somewhere to ensure I don't have joy. It's either tampering with my understanding and making me forget things so I forget to buy fuel into my car so that I can have issues when the car when the fire finishes in the middle of an empty road. Oh, when he's affecting my job, he's stressing me up and making things difficult because he wants me to lose the job. Why? He knows that the money I get from the job goes into paying things in the church, goes into helping other people. He doesn't want that to happen. So he fights me. He 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 deals with my boss to deal with me, to take my job. You need to understand that behind everything, it is either God or the devil. You don't have to go through the teachings that say no. You see, it's the things of the world. We have to, we have to look at it to, uh, using our mentality. God has given us brain. This cannot be God. You can't ask God for this. You can ask God for everything. When he said in Matthew 7, 7, Ask, it shall be given unto you. He never said, Ask things that are spiritual and leave things that are physical. I've had situations where my car starts behaving funny and I talk to the car. You cannot break down here. It is not possible. You have to get to where I will see help. And it has to get there. Because I've asked my God. If I have said, Oh, it's a car. It's mechanical. Uh, it has nothing to do with me. I can't pray about it. I would have suffered. So what we are talking about today is that in life, it is either it is a positive or it is a negative. All these stories about, no, it has just to do with thinking. No. Somewhere, somewhere along the line, the devil is trying to steal my joy and I will not allow it. Jesus promised me fullness of joy. He said that I may have life and have it abundant. That is, I am not just alive. Everything I have is alive. My finances is alive. My marriage is alive. My children is alive. My joy is alive. My job is alive. My car is alive. My home is alive. 
is an abundance of life that he promised me. Anything apart from that is what the devil came to do. To steal, to kill, to destroy. If you have the idea in your mind that no, it has to do with natural. It's just a natural occurrence. You are being defeated. You are losing the battles in life. The devil is stealing the life and the joy that God promised you. So you need to take your stand. Anytime things don't go right. He said half. You shall be given. He said half. He didn't put qualifications. So I can ask for anything. And I always ask for anything. If rain wants to fall and I want to go out, it has to stop. I need to go. I don't believe that it is raining season time, so it has to fall. And I don't no. You fall when I'm not going out. And when I'm about to do important things, you stop. Because you ask me to ask for anything. For finances, I just ask. He needs to give me. Because he said that you ask. Before I go into a profession, I need to ask. I don't have to say no. You know, I think I'm good in medicine. So let me go to medicine. No. I've got to ask, what should I do? If you did not tell me what to do, I won't go ahead and do it. Many times before I go out to get jobs or work for jobs, I ask God, what should I do today? Sometimes I have meetings and I ask him, I plan meetings, should I go? Sometimes he will tell me, don't go. Sit at home. So I sit at home and do other things. Then I'll get a call. Sorry, we, f- we forgot to inform you. The meeting has shifted. Because I have him. So you can ask him for anything. There was a day I need to buy a gift for my wife. And I budgeted the money. But I got to the mechanic workshop. And I had to fix many things in my car. So automatically, the money is gone for the car. Then I looked up to heaven and said, God, I need to get a gift for my wife. But I spent the money on the car. Help me, please. A few minutes later, I got a call. A person said, oh, pastor, long time. Oh, God did something wonderful. Um, I'm, I just sent you some amount of money to your account. The exact amount of money I need for the gift was what she sent into my account. That is God. So you can ask him for anything. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. We go through the pain. We go through the troubles. Because we forget the knowledge that we can ask God for anything. And the devil is fighting us in every aspect of our life. He is not resting. He is not tired. He is always fighting. He is always fighting. The devil is 24 hours employed to do evil. Every hour of the day, while you are watching TV, while you are eating, while you are playing, while you are worshipping, while you are passing, he is plotting evil. And he's looking for every way to justify it in such a way that you will not know he's the one. So you can blame the government, you can blame the president, you can blame power company, you can blame your church, you can blame your pastor, you can blame your family, you can blame your program, but you forget to talk to him. I am not asking you to start blaming devil. I'm asking you to tell him to get out. To know that every aspect of your life is a battle. You are fighting. It is a war. The Bible talks about us being soldiers. We are in a war. Jesus Christ said to the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And it's only the violence that can take you by force. So all the teachings today that Jesus has fought all the battles, we need to just relax and enjoy ourselves and just eat the battles. They are false teachings. It is a battle. You need to fight. But the lucky thing is this. The victory has been won. The Bible says that Jesus defeated the enemy and made a show of him. The Bible says that you are more than conqueror. Jesus has won for you. What you need to do is to rise up. Act. Fight. Be violent. Your victory is already assured. Your victory is already settled. It is already settled. It's waiting for you. All you need to do is act. If you have money in a bank account, you can be screaming, I need money, I need money, I have money in the bank account. It will not come to you until you take your bio, take your checkbook, write it out, and sign it. That process is what you need to do to get the money out. Screaming, crying, oh, I need money.
money will not give you money that is your own in your bank account. You need to go through the appropriate process to get it. So also, your victory has been assured it's in your bank account. But you need to fight. You need to pray. You need to fight in the place of prayer to get the blessings that God has promised you. So life is a battle. But victory has been promised to us. Jesus Christ has won the victory. It's sitting in the bank account. For everybody who is born again, you have access to that money in the bank account. You have access to the victory in the bank account. All you need to do, stop begging, stop suffering, stop crying, go to the right process, enter into prayer, enter into your bank, take the shirt book, write it, put the appropriate signature in the name of Jesus, ask for what you need, present it to the, to the teller, which is the angel, they will go into your bank account, check if you have an account with them, if you are a Christian, then you have an account with the account of victory automatically you will get access to the money, to the victory, to the success, to the joy, and to life. Jesus Christ came to give you life and life abundantly. Stop allowing the devil to steal it. He came to give you joy, fullness of joy. Stop allowing him to take it. It is time to rise up and pray. That is why in the Holy Spirit Prayer Network, we pray every day of the year. There is no day of rest. Every day the devil is planning and every day we are praying. Every day is plotting. Every day we are getting victory. So join us and continue, continually pray every day. It is time to battle. The kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence will take it by force. Today, make up your mind. I will fight the right way. I will fight in the place of prayer. I will defeat the devil through prayer. It's plotting 24 hours. I am praising God and praying 24 hours. And I will get my victory. I declare unto you, as you begin to pray, God will give you victory in the name of Jesus. In every aspect of your life, He will grant you victory. God bless you. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the word we have received today. We thank you for speaking to us. Father, we ask, grant us the grace to pray. Give us the spirit of prayer. Give us the power to be violent in prayer. And not to accept the nonsense the devil has been trying to sell to us all this while. Help us, Lord, to stand our ground and take our place that you have bought for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you.